So this report, which was commissioned by Alltech, I think represents our interest in communicating a huge change which is taking place in Africa today. The amount of land which has changed ownership, uh, depending on different estimates we've done, varies from 60 million hectares, so equivalent to a land mass of twice the size of the United Kingdom, to maybe as much as 220 million hectares, which would be the equivalent of the entirety of Western Europe. And this land is being acquired uh, from African interests and falling into the hands of Chinese investors, Indian investors, investors from the Middle East, and indeed some from Western Europe and from, from, from the United States, and is, uh, probably represents uh, the, um, an unparalleled uh, transfer of land ownership from locals to international uh, investors, which I think has never occurred in the history of the world before. Well, there could, could be good implications, bad implications. Um, I would feel that from a good point of view, we could see food being produced more efficiently. Um, I think agribusiness has the ability and has shown the ability to do so in Brazil. And of course, if that's produced more efficiently, that food therefore could be made available to Africans at a lower cost. Um, I think also that we could see um, Africa creating more jobs from more efficient agriculture. So I think those would be positive implications. On the negative side, of course, there is the potential that we could see a degradation of resources, of land, the so-called tragedy of the commons, um, where because those resources are not effectively owned by anybody, um, maybe the, the, the external investment will end up using those resources but not necessarily retaining the value of the land, the value of the environment, water, etc., for future generations. From my point of view, I think the critical piece for agribusiness is to realize this change is taking place. And I think for many of us, we have perhaps uh, not paid attention to this change, the sea change which has occurred in such a short period of time. So I think we need to be in Africa. I think we need to be investing in Africa. I think we certainly need to uh, be working with these agribusiness companies to make sure that they are as successful as they can be. And um, I, I suppose for me, this, this report is primarily, it's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call that we need to be actively engaging with this seismic change which has occurred.